I think of leadership as service, frankly, service to the mission of the organization that one leads, uh, service to the people who are on, on one's team, and of course service to the population that one is responsible for and uh, serving. I think that a focus on service really keeps the attitude of a leader in the right place. Thinking about how to constantly improve, to be better at uh, leading those groups, thinking constantly uh, about needing to be deeply influenced by the fact that it is not the leader himself or herself that is important in the equation, but all the other aspects of that community of leadership. Leadership uh, in that vein also means that every part of that equation is leading. So the team is leading, uh, the people who are serving are leading, and they're leading because of transparency, because of a shared sense of um, uh, formulating uh, a direction. It's very important for everybody in that to feel engaged. So a leader facilitates that, a leader believes in that, uh, a leader makes sure that that transparency and uh, shared participation is effective. I was um, educated in the inner city uh, public high school, Phyllis Wheatley, in Houston. And there was a teacher in uh, that school who is the single uh, most important individual in terms of leading me into uh, higher education. And I often say that she's responsible for whatever I've done in my life as a consequence of being educated she is certainly responsible for that. So she was a teacher who did more than come to class every day and give assignments and uh, grade my work. Uh, she took a deep interest in who I was and thought about how I could excel. She also um, brought to my attention the possibility of going to college and there was nobody that I knew at the time who was college educated. There was no one in my family who could have helped me with this, and I certainly uh, thought that I would never be able to have the resources to go to college. She took it upon herself to think about that for me and to identify a way to get a scholarship. Then she also picked out a college for me. So without her help in doing that, I would never have become an educated person. So I am eternally grateful to her and to public school teachers who take that kind of broad interest in children in their classrooms.